Welcome to the Redats channel. Do you have a W680 balancer and you are wondering how to calibrate correctly? My name is Hubert and I show you how to do it correctly, distance calibration, diameter calibration, as well as imbalance sensors calibration. Invite you to view. The whole process starts of course with the machine starting up. Now we have to enter the menu. To do this, press the back button, then back again. Now at the top we have four options. We have to enter the calibration option. This is the first tile on the left. Press the left button and OK. The machine will now ask us for a password. The password is left right. In this mode, we have access to the calibration and diagnostics of the machine. We start with the distance calibration. Use the right arrow to move to the first option next to the back arrow on the screen. As you can see, we have a message calibrate distance meter. To start it, we press OK. Now we have a message on the screen, distance meter in original position. We check that the measuring arm is correctly positioned on the machine. If so, press OK. The next step, according to the message on the screen, is to move the meter to the zero millimeter position. We extend the measuring arm to zero millimeters flush with the measuring arm case. We hold the measuring arm in this position and press OK. The machine now tells us that we need to extend the arm to 150 millimeters. We extend it to 15 centimeters, align it with the arm case, hold the arm in this position and press OK. The screen shows us that the calibration is done, so we put the arm back and press OK. The next calibration is the width calibration. We move with the right arrow to the last option and press OK. A message appears to us put the distance meter back to its original position. The measuring arm is to lie in its basic position. Set the width gauge to the outer plane of the shaft base. Take the measuring arm from under the cover and apply it to the plane of the shaft. Hold it like this and press the OK button. Now our message has changed. The width gauge in its original position. Put the measuring arm under the cover back in place. Distance meter to the inside of the shaft head. Take the measuring arm Place the round part of the arm against the shaft head on the inside. We hold it in this position and press OK. The display shows calibration done. Return the arm to the machine and press OK. We will now make a diameter calibration. To do this, we will need a steel wheel between 13 and 15 inches in size. We start by putting the wheel on the shaft. I recommend putting on first the wheel, then the cone and then the nut without the large bushing. Now enter the diameter calibration by pressing the right button, move to the almost last option and press OK. First of all, we need to enter the diameter of the wheel with which we will calibrate the machine. This is read off the tire. In our example, 14 inches. Using the right button, we move to the third option where there is a rim with arrows. Here, we use the up and down arrows to enter the diameter of the wheel we have read from the tire. When the diameter is set, press the left arrow. Now we have to put the measuring arm under the rim edge. We put the round part of the arm under the rim edge, hold it down and press the OK button. Now we have a message on the display to put the arm against the inner plane of the shaft base. We take the arm and put it down on the metal shaft housing. We hold it in this position and press OK. The display shows us the word calibration done. We put the measuring arm back into the machine and press OK. The last calibration we will do today will be the calibration of the unbalanced sensors. To do this we will need, in addition to the wheel we have already fitted, a 100 grams calibration weight, vulcanizer pliers and different weights for steel rims, which will come in handy at a later stage of the calibration. We start by entering the calibration. We press the button to the left. We have calibrate balancer, we press OK. Now we have a message on the screen, enter wheel parameters. Take the measuring arm and place it with its round part under the rim edge. Hold it a few seconds for the machine to read the distance of the wheel from the machine and its diameter, then put it back in the machine. Now take the measuring arm from under the rim cover and place it on the other side of the rim. Once the machine has read the width, put the width measuring device back in place. Press the OK button to confirm the data and close the cover.
After the wheel has stopped, we open the cover and the machine tells us to prepare the calibration weight. Press the OK button to confirm the weight of the calibration weight. Here, 100 grams is entered as the base weight. Now a bar appeared on the left side, which shows us the place where the calibration weight was inserted. We slowly turn the wheel looking for the place that the machine indicated to us. As on this bar, we will see three green dashes in the middle. This means that in this place, at 12 o'clock on the left side, we are supposed to tap the calibration weight. After we have taped in the weight, I recommend making a mark on the tire with a marker, it will come in useful later, and we close the cover. When the wheel stops, we open the cover, we pull off the calibration weight from the left side, we turn the wheel looking for the place of unbalance, this time the right side. When three green dashes appear in the middle, then at this point, exactly at 12 o'clock, we need to tap a 100 grams weight. After we tap the weight on this side, we also make a mark with a marker on the tire and close the cover. When the wheel stops and we press the OK button to save the calibration. The message calibration done appears, so we press OK. Now we remove the calibration weight and return to the balancing screen. We press the back button. Then we have the tire icon. We click the OK button. Now we click the left button to enter the rim icon with five arrows that is the new wheel and OK. We apply the measuring arm under the rim edge to read the distance and diameter of this wheel, then take the width arm from under the cover and apply it from the other side also under the rim edge to read the width. We check if there are any old weights on the wheel, if there are then, we remove them. After checking, we close the cover. The machine reads 25 grams on the left side and 25 grams on the right. We click the up arrow to have the machine set the wheel for us in place of the unbalance or set it manually on older models. The line we marked earlier must not match the place of unbalance of the wheel. In our case, on this side, the line is in this place, so it is okay. We press the arrow up or rotate manually to set the other unbalanced place and check the other side. Here it is also okay. If we would match, then we need to loosen the nut and turn the wheel relative to the shaft, so that the taped weights for balancing do not match the calibration weight. We tighten the wheel and close the cover again to weigh that wheel again. We return to our wheel. As we have the unbalanced spot set, we take a 25 gram weight and tap it at 12 o'clock. We press the up arrow to set the other side. Here, we add the weight of 25 grams in the same way at 12 o'clock and close the cover to check. We have the wheel balanced to 0, 0. We enter the calibration once more. We press back. Now in left and OK. Password left, right, go to calibration of the balancer, click left and OK. As you can see the parameters we have entered for this wheel so we do not apply the measuring arms but click OK and close the cover. When the wheel stops we open the cover. Confirm the weight with OK. Turn the wheel until we see three green stripes on the left side and exactly at 12 o'clock we put the calibration weight on the machine side. After scooping we close the cover. When the wheel stops, we open the cover, take off the calibration weight, spin the wheel until we see three green stripes on the right side, and exactly at 12 o'clock, we scoop the weight from the nut side. After scooping, we close the cover. After the wheel stops, we press OK to save the data, and we have the calibration done. Remember that calibration should be done at least once a year. Check out the other videos on our channel. There we show how to calibrate other machines or balance steel and aluminum wheels. Subscribe to us so you don't miss any news. See you there.